engineering works. The NUR General Secretary, Mr Jimmy Knapp, said they were the most savage cut since the beaching closures. The Transport Secretary, Mr Ridley, said it was because modern rolling stock needs less maintenance, but he came under fierce criticism in the Commons. There's no point in the Prime Minister going to Perth last week and speaking about slaying the dragon of unemployment when yeah, he, by his short-sighted <laughs> rail policies, is feeding the dragon of unemployment. Yeah. Most of the losses are at British Rail's engineering maintenance works in Doncaster, Wolverton, East Lee and Springburn in Glasgow. In their building and repair division, two Derby workshops face cuts, along with those in Crewe, Doncaster and Horwich. Besides these, 900 jobs go at 16 regional depots throughout the country. British Rail says its new rolling stock needs less maintenance. By cutting staff, it says it will improve efficiency and reduce costs, making it more competitive with private sector companies. None of the eight engineering workshops will close altogether, but only York will escape heavy job losses. The rail unions pointed to the rapid rundown in engineering jobs since 1982 and said with big projects like the Channel Tunnel, now was a time to expand, not contract. So what we've seen emerge today, uh, is for us a horrendous and horrific picture uh, that presents a bleak prospect for the future for thousands of our people. The rail unions believe the cuts are to prepare some workshops for sale to the private sector. Engineering employees will be balloted about taking industrial action and the union says feelings are running high among the men. But when the railway guards were balloted last year over one-man trains, they voted against taking any action. Mark Webster, News at 10, British Rail. The birthplace of the Flying Scotsman and the Mallard is soon to be scaled down to a maintenance depot. For the 3,000 strong workforce here, an end to rumour and speculation, nearly half will lose their jobs. Engine and rolling stock manufacture has been taking place at Doncaster since 1850. Now workers claim it's the first step towards total closure. The ones won't fight. Why is that? We've tried it before with other workshops. Went. It's too late now to do all. I think it's a complete utter disgrace. I think our forefathers that built such as the Mallard and all those trains in the past must be turning in their grave. The amount of quality that turn, was turned out in these works and now it's just going to be thrown at, at Thatcher's whim. For the people of Doncaster, it follows the loss of some 6,000 pit jobs since the miners' strike.